Welcome back. Turkish President Recep Erdogan today vowed to continue the Syria offensive until his mission to create a safe zone in the north of the country is accomplished. The decision is coming as the U.S. faces intense criticism for withdrawing its forces from Syria, which some say gave Turkey the green light to launch a cross-border offensive. Here's Simon Puse with more international news in Around the World in 5. Good evening from the Channel's newsroom here in London. Hong Kong leader Carrie Lam has been forced to suspend her annual address after being heckled in Parliament. She was first shouted at as she walked to the chamber. Then opposition lawmakers disrupted the legislative council session by shouting and projecting slogans behind her. After a first interruption, this session resumed only to be interrupted again. It was then suspended and Mrs Lam delivered the address by video instead. It means the extradition bill, the trigger for months of protests in Hong Kong, could not be withdrawn formally. It is everybody's uh, wish that Hong Kong could um, come out of this crisis and return to normal as soon as possible because the damage done to Hong Kong is now already very severe and uh, nobody wants to see the continuation of the current situation. But to achieve that, we must not, and I emphasize, we must not um, sort of uh, give up or deviate from the very fundamental principles that get the Hong Kong going. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has vowed to press on with an offensive in Syria until his mission to create a safe space is complete. Yeah. Mr Erdogan has also said he will snub direct talks with the US Vice President when he arrives in Turkey. The Turkish President said that Mike Pence and US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo would only speak to their counterparts and not to him directly. Turkish forces launched an operation to clear Kurdish fighters from northern Syria last week after US troops allied to them pulled out of the region. Most of the fighting so far has taken place around the border cities of Ras Al Ain and Tel Abiyed. The parents of Harry Dunn, the boy who died after he was hit by a car travelling on the wrong side of the road, have rejected the chance to meet the suspect in their son's crash. Charlotte Charles and Tim Dunn said they felt ambushed by the offer, which was made out of the blue by US President Donald Trump. Anne Sakulas returned to the United States days after the crash which killed 19-year-old Harry Dunn, despite telling UK police she had no intention of leaving. Harry's parents said they wanted to meet Mrs Sakulas in the UK, but said they thought the president was being honest with them. He held your hand and you held his. Yes. Yeah. And I felt the sincerity that all I can do is hope that that, will, that sincerity will be carried forward to try and get a, a result for us. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is set to back Bernie Sanders as the Democrat to take on Donald Trump in the 2020 presidential election. Ms. Ocasio-Cortez is the youngest ever member of U.S. Congress and has become a leading progressive voice in the party. She is scheduled to appear at a Bernie's Back rally in New York to formally offer her support on Saturday. The 78-year-old took part in a debate on Tuesday night less than two weeks after suffering a heart attack. He took the opportunity to try and ease concerns over his health during the appearance, telling the debate crowd in Ohio, I'm healthy, I'm feeling great. We are going to be mounting a vigorous campaign all over this country. That is how I think I can reassure the American people. But let me take this moment, if I might, uh, to thank so many people uh, from all over this country, including many of my colleagues up here, for their love, for their prayers, for their well wishes. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thousands of pensioners have taken to the streets of the Spanish capital, Madrid, to demand higher pensions. The protest was called by state coordinator for the defense of the public pension system. They're calling for pensions to be protected by law. Protesters are demanding the government raise the consumer price index and include pensions in the annual government budget. And finally, researchers from the University of Hawaii have released groundbreaking footage of humpback whales feeding in waters off southeast Alaska. The images, captured both from an aerial drone and the whale's point of view, show how some whales use bubbles to optimize their consumption of prey by creating bubble nets. As the name suggests, the whales blow bubbles beneath a school of fish, creating a net in the process and allowing the whales to consume many hundreds of fish at once. The director of the Marine Mammal Research 
program described the footage as groundbreaking. Basically, we have two angles, and the drone's perspective is showing us uh, these bubble nets, if you will, and how the bubbles are starting to come to the surface, uh, and how the animals then come up through uh, through the bubble net as, as they surface, while the, the cameras on the whales are telling us from the animal's perspective. So overlaying these two data sets are, are, is quite, quite exciting. And that's your international news around the world in five. Thanks a lot, Simon. That's amazing. We'll move on to sports now. Here's Ayol Sunday. Many thanks, Ijo. Makalo Pillars have been crowned the 2019 Handball League champions for the first time after beating the defenders 31 to 29 points on the final day at the Road Park Yaba on Wednesday. With safety shooters triumph over holders Niger United, the Pyramid team required at least a draw to confirm their title success. The Confederation of African Football CAFAS picked Niger Republic's Abdullahi Al Mustafa as the center referee for Saturday's 2020 African Nations Championship qualifying battle with the Sparrowhawks of Lagos, or with Sparrowhawks of Togo in Lagos, beg your pardon. His compatriots Sadisu Idi and Abdulaziz Yakuba will serve as assistant referees. On Nigeria's home base, Super Eagles have a mountain to climb, having lost their first leg to Togo in Lome, and that was 4-1. FC Barcelona star player Lionel Messi has picked up a record extending sixth European Golden Shoe Award following his outstanding individual domestic campaign for 2018-19 season. The award is presented to the top goal scorer in league football across Europe with the Argentine finding the net 36 times last season as Barca retained their Spanish La Liga title. And that's Rabban Sports News. I'm Ayo Tunde Balu. And the main news again. The federal government and organized labor today continued their negotiation on the full implementation of the new minimum wage. Both parties have been at the meeting for the last six hours and they are yet to reach an agreement. Also today, the meeting between INEC officials and stakeholders in Yenagoa ahead of the governorship election in Bayelsa State turned rowdy as the electoral umpire plans to stage a hitch free election. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm the John Michael Nyato. You have a good night. If you want to buy land, you want to build house, you want to buy uh -huh, my people, we have come again this time around to talk about independence. Independence is doing what you like, when you like, and how you like it. Make sure say you do it for your household. Now, why Revolution Plus Property, the number one real estate company, bring a wolf come to make you truly independent? Buy any of our property in Lagos, Ibadan, Abuja, in this Niger independent season. And start a chance of getting up to 40% discount, free architectural design, free blocks on any of our land or house you buy. We know the joke, yo. You must be independent. Call us today or head over to the nearest Revolution Plus office. Or go to our website to take advantage of the Revolution Plus Independence Promo. Revolution Plus.